Coming up on Saturday night at the Plymouth Memorial Hall up in New England, it is Cage Titans 26. We're now joined by one of the men that's going to be in the main event of the fight card. Is It is Tateki Matsuda who is going to be taking on Johnny Campbell. Tateki, I appreciate you coming on the show this week. Of course, this is going to be your first fight since your exit from the UFC. So simply put, what has life been like for you since uh, your exit from the Ultimate Fighting Championships? So after... Uh... I get back to the local scene. Uh, uh, I just had a hard time to find my opponent, and uh, and finally, you know, the fight fight got you know set up. So uh, I'm very excited. Uh, what what's your kind of thoughts on Johnny as as a fighter? Oh, I mean, he's such a tough guy. You know, um, he's been like winning in the, I think five or six times in a row, whatever. That's what I heard, and then uh, um, I know, like I I. Fought him the three years ago. He will be the different fighter for sure. Uh, they're just like you know. I I'm gonna show what what respect is all about in the cage. That's it. Fighters always talk about you know you, you learn more from your defeats than your wins. Uh, you know, with those two losses in the UFC, is is there any major lessons that you took out of that fight that have uh, maybe been a big motivation in in training for this fight. Uh, all I learned from the experience in the UFC is um uh, um the accuracy and the 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 building confidence. Now uh, that's like a very uh, in, um important component for for myself. Uh, the accuracy means like. I used to think like a training has to be like, you know, like it should be like a hard all the time until I get tired or whatever. But like, you know, the critical shot or, you know, very technical movement is uh, created by not from like, you know, just like a training hard, but like, you know, the, with the perfect form, like repetition. Uh, also, the the confidence is like uh, just say like I could say like talking is cheap, you know. Like I'm I'm very confident, I'm ready to go, whatever, whatever. But feel like after my uh, UFC fight, like the confidence uh, affects my like attitude, like my mind and everything. So uh, uh, it's it's very hard to describe uh, what are those, but. Uh, that's like a pre- pretty much like I feel from the experience in the, the octagon. I know some people may, I guess you, you would look more at the negatives, but do you kind of more look at the positives and like, you know what, that, you know, that experience has made me the fighter I am today? Yes, that's, I mean, the, the, as long as I'm a professional fighter and, and continue competing, that's like, that's a, the main reason to be continued, you know, uh, if I don't think that way, like uh, I should, I should retire from the, you know, professional career. Uh, I still, you know, I be- believe in myself and then like I'm growing and I'm getting better. Like uh, the, the quality of my teammates, like a uh, training and then the every session and at the single moment is very, um, beneficial to me. And, uh, you know, like, uh, obviously like, a uh, get released by UFC is kind of fucked, but you know, like, uh, uh, I know, like, I'm going to be, I'll be back there and uh, I, I still belong there. Just, you know, get back to the local scene, stay busy and, uh, um, you know, like, I don't no more think like if I make UFC again, no, no. When I make UFC, I'm supposed to be able to do this, do this, you know, perform this skill and technique against this type of fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like my mindset right now. Fighters always talk about there. there's guys inside inside of their training camp that pushes them, that knows how to get the best out of you. Who are some of those training partners that have really elevated your game? Oh, uh, always like a lot of fun. They're always there. Like uh, he's a... Uh, 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 the UFC fighter at my gym, and uh, he's he's a man like uh, he he you know like uh, 
we train all the time together. And uh, and uh, another like a nasty grappler is like a Tony Martin, the UFC fighter. Like uh, just like you know, training with them is like the they they give me like a fresh fresh time, you know, like uh, when I get back to the freshman, like I feel like I'm freshman, like, and then I, I gain, like, oh, that's how they train, like, that's how they think while working on this this technique or, you know, this situation, so, uh, um, you know, and uh, uh, I, I want to name uh, other fighters too, but, uh, you know, uh, but uh, we kind of, you know, sort of push each other and the and they'll get ready for the fight during the camp. From fight to fight, you become a, a better and, and a different fighter, whether it's physically or mentally. Uh, would you say that maybe this camp has more been about the mental side of the game? Uh, yes, that's always. I mean, the, this like MMA is all, like almost like a mental sport. You know, if if you train hard and your heart doesn't, you know catch up with your like your physical or skill like uh you can you can win the fight you know like we have a, such a like a small gloves and then uh, like uh, people don't care like uh, if you're a full-time fighter or street fighter doctor student like uh, we're just like uh, me and my opponent and then just see who's better so if i have like a uh, any negative soul like i can make it you know of course, uh, originally from Tokyo, Japan, now living in Boston. What's it? What's it? What's the uh, from a, a lifestyle aspect? How much different is it living here in the United States as opposed to Japan? Uh, yeah, I came to U.S. almost ten years ago as a student, so uh, I'm very used to the American lifestyle. But uh, uh, I would say like uh, everything could be opposite sometimes. You know, the like the uh, I don't know, like, the, Tokyo is such a crowded city, so, uh, you know, I can't, like, uh, when I get get back there, like, I feel like, you know, uh, it's very crowded, like, uh, uncomfortable, but at the same time, like, uh, you know, I feel kind of leave, like, people so polite and, like, get back to my culture, or, like, uh, respect each other in public, and then like uh, when it, when I stay at in Tokyo for my vacation, wherever the the stay, then and can come back to the U.S. feel like like oh like, oh that was too much, too much, too many people in the, such a crowded city. I wanna I, I'm missing the life in the U.S. Like uh, you know I always look for like what I don't have. Uh, sounds like they're selfish, but uh, that's like a huge difference in me. In terms of your fight here on, on Saturday night, is uh, the simple prediction is uh, I don't know how, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to walk out as a victor. Yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna win. Yeah, for sure. I really appreciate time, man, and uh, good yep. luck in your fight on Saturday. All right, thank you so much.